Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Three Star Podcast. As always, I am your host, joined by... Hey guys, it's Sean here. So, hello. And we've got a special guest. I'm so excited. I love having a special guest. He's a, he's a familiar face for most of you, no doubt. A big, a big very important uh, part in the, the wider training team. Uh, elite, I am trainer Chris Mills. Chris, how you doing, man? Uh, I am good. Thanks for having me. Hey, mate, this is no, cool. Free start podcast. I've made yeah. it. Mama, you made, made it. it. You've made it. <laughs> uh, everyone, I'm sure you used to seeing Chris on backstage live on Mondays and Wednesdays at noon. Uh, if you, if not, please uh, do feel free to check any of those episodes out. It's where we get into the real detail around uh, products and really helps out with a bit of training, so you know everything that there is Samsung wise. But lads. It's been a while since we had a podcast like this because we've so, been so busy, especially with the live edition last week of the S20 FE uh, two weeks ago, uh, rather. Um, so we've had so much going on, but we're back in our usual format of 2020 anyway. And I have a big update for both of you. Well, for one of you, because the other person knows it, which is what he's in here. Uh, Chris, I have got a lot of, I've got to answer a lot of your questions well. Basically, I am now right there. I'm a gamer, lads. I'm a gamer. Hey. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he I'm is. a gamer. And you picked the right console as well? Incorrect. Ah, right. Incorrect. <laughs> it started already. Wait there. Let me referee this because there's a reason that, Chris, I needed you specifically on this. Miles, I've got to tell you a little bit of a story, first of all, around this. Um, Sean, not a gamer. Okay, I'm fed up of being bullied about not being a gamer by people who are viewers and our listeners on the Three Star Podcast, right? I'm not a gamer, but I've got an interest in gaming. And I was talking to Chris about this recently, and a best, uh, my number one kind of question is, should I pre-order the Xbox or the PlayStation? I'm team PlayStation traditionally, right? I'm on the phone to Chris, and Chris was like, nah, you need to change your mind around that. Listen to the Xbox proposition. So he, 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 he sold a little bit of Xbox to me. And I said, I'm always Xbox, man. And I, and I said, Chris, you know what? I might not even bother because I don't know whether I like gaming. And he just there and then said, you know what? I'm going to lend you my PS4. Come and get it. And we can do some gaming. You can see whether you enjoy it. And once you're addicted to it, then we'll discuss PlayStation and Xbox. So I think immediately I kind of like, I gave him an opportunity just in case he got excited <laughs> in the moment about lending me his, his console. I said, like, re, like, mention that to me again tomorrow, man. And uh, we'll see how I feel. But yeah. So I drove up, got the PlayStation, back. Um, and it was really interesting, Miles, because I loaded it up there and then thinking I was going to be playing COD that night. And then I realised I realized how poor my internet connection was. I was on the phone to Chris. Chris, what was my download speeds at the time? Right. Bear in mind, Sean was paying about 40 quid a month for his internet. True. Um, I've got Sean to test his internet speed. What was it? Like seven, seven. meg download. I'm not joking. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. And I wondered, I wondered why when I was doing like conference calls and stuff, it was so laggy and everyone just says, oh, Sean, you know, to, but it was that bad. So I've done my like little uh, waiting process. I got on the phone to my provider who shall remain uh, nameless. They said, yo, yeah, you do. To, admittedly, you need an upgrade. So they put me on a oh, cheaper God. tariff with a new, a new hub. I've got all my systems set up and today was actually no lie the day that it actually activated. So later on this evening, I'm going to be uh, tempted to join some of this uh, online gaming. However, a game that I did download and I am 100% addicted to is Rocket League. Yeah. Do you two even know what Rocket... Miles, I see that face that you're doing. Let me tell you something yes. else. Uh, Friends of the show, I'll just make you aware that actually Miles' cousin, uh, a friend of Samsung's, Meshach, and we all know Meshach uh, of Samsung uh, fame, uh, is a good friend of mine. And me and him are addicted at late at night playing Rocket League. And just as a, as a duo, we've got, as a, we've got our own kind of team colours. We've designed our cars that way. And we are deadly serious about this game. So if anyone out there fancies a bit of Rocket League, put your gamer tags in the comments right now and I'll see you online. Okay, 
But uh, no, no, Rocket League, not, you know, uh, oh, the other game, Miles, is Spider-Man. Sean, before we move on, you do have to let everyone know that plays Rocket League. Before you put your gamer tag in the chat, just speak to your parents and make sure you're allowed to play with other people. I know Rocket League's obviously like under 12 seem to only play that game, so I just want to make sure that we're not going to get no. anyone in trouble. And When I played Hussein 2013 yesterday and I beat him 6-0, right, me and Shaq, don't tell me that that was a seven-year-old, okay? <laughs> I hope that doesn't refer to his age because I was getting aggressive with that guy. Not, not verbally, I don't speak to the guy at all, but I can't believe how emotionally attached you get to gaming, man. Hey, gaming, gaming, gaming is the one, mate. And Rocket League, mate, I've already been there. We've done that. I did a backstage live on Rocket League. You did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. Mate, it's a class game, but you really need to evolve your games. You can't keep playing Rocket League, man. This you is need to, I know need to you... up your game. Well, this is what I'm asking here is I just want to cover off, first of all, before I ask you about the games. And then ultimately what I want to get out of this show is to decide PlayStation or Xbox, which we've touched on so many times before, but I need a decision. And also uh, about Game Pass, because that's a big, sort of big wheel, a cog in this big uh, machine of ours. But I've just got to touch on Spider-Man as well. I know it's a few years old. I know it's like two or three years old. I know, I know, I know. I'm catching up, but what a fantastic game. And Miles, I just spend time chilling, cruising around the city, and it's amazing. Listen. 2018 was the year of Spider-Man. We had the Sony PlayStation <laughs> game Spider-Man, and we also had Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. That was Best all. One by far. That was all one year. That game, where do I start? The graphics, the fight style, the open world of New York. I've never been to New York, but I was watching YouTube videos and reviews. It's a it's as close as a, a light for light shot of New York, apart from like the Avengers buildings and all the Marvel bits that they put in there. It's as light for like, and the story, oh man. And I'm not just talking yeah. about the main story, the DLCs as well, the three extension packs that they added onto it. Ah, that's something, that again, Sean, that is, that's something else. When you finish this main story, there's then another three extension packs that are, they're new stories, but they've been touched on in the main game. And it's, that three extension pack is nearly as good as the whole game itself. So good. It's a great game, man. Uh, Chris, you, you were saying that you were a fan of it. Um, I, I mate, think that, that game. It is, mate. It's like what Miles said. It's one of the, it's one of the best games out there. Um, yeah. but I, I got, I'm, like, I'm on Miles' boat. I've got all the DLCs and everything. But it is like when you're playing it, it's like watching a film at some points as well. Yeah. Like you get so involved. It's just gaming in general now, isn't it though? You but get what, what so are you guys playing now? What, what, what? Bring me up. So, yes, admitted this <laughs> over. I've caught up now. I've got access to a console. Chris, by the way, man, officially, thank you so much, bro. You changed my life. <laughs> so, um, I, what I want to know is what are you playing right now? And then when I do package this up to return it to Chris, what am I purchasing next? So, yeah, that's my Ooh. questions to you guys. Uh, Chris, um, I'll start with you because I know Miles knows his answer. You know what I mean? So tell, tell me. Oh, well, I'll change Miles' answer by me answering <laughs> this. So currently playing uh, Call of Duty Warzone, which, yes, you can play on any console. Um, so we've got that going on. I'm personally waiting for the next generation of consoles to release because I've pre-ordered my Xbox Series X. Miles, you could. Miles, you take that face. You get your own <laughs> podcast, Miles. Get your own podcast. We're talking <laughs> Xbox Series X. It is yeah. the most powerful console, right? Is that the X you say? Xbox Series X, and they released the Xbox Series S, which is the more is, affordable one. So, I don't know if you can. You can see this. <laughs> <laughs> the Series X is. It's just there. Even though the Series X is smaller than the PS5, but all right, okay, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. I mean, it, a, it Fiat, is more a Fiat 500 is smaller than a Mercedes. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Very true. He stumped me there. But then you talk about you talk about games on hmm. the Xbox. This is where they go above and beyond, though, isn't it? Because they've then got that Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which. No matter if you're a PS5 fanboy or an Xbox fanboy or a PC gamer, you, you've got to appreciate that 
the Game Pass Ultimate is yeah. like next level gaming. You've got over a hundred, well, you've got a hundred games that you can play just from having a monthly subscription. And all the brand new games that Microsoft have announced, like the Fables, the new Halo, when that comes out, all go on to Game Pass Ultimate to download for free straight away on launch. So I'm not having to spend another 50, 60 quid right. per it, game. Is, before I hear Miles' PlayStation pitch, um, I'm going to come back to the Game Pass stuff because that's, that's probably what's making me interested in Xbox at the minute. But is that 100% legit that if the new games that are getting released are going on that day to download as part of my subscription fee? Yeah, it, obviously it's not going to be any game. Um, there yeah. will still be some games you would have to purchase, but a lot of like Microsoft's own studios, and obviously now Microsoft have been purchasing studio, like game studios left, right and centre. They've got so many games that are going to be readily available on launch day. So when the Xbox launches on the 10th of November, there's yeah. a whole ton of new games that are launching as well, which I'm going to be able to download and play without having to pay 50, 60 quid for them because I've just had my monthly Game yeah. Pass subscription. So right. whilst Paul's it's being the most it. powerful console, Miles, most powerful console. Wait, 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 wait. Pause that a second. While I wake Miles up a second to, to give us his PlayStation, um, his PlayStation spiel. Yeah, well, I just need to digest some of that information because I've got another question to come back to you with in a moment. Miles, PlayStation in a minute, why? And I know you and Rich, like before, we've had this conversation a few times, but it's crunch time now. I need to make a decision with the big voice, which is money. I need to do that kind of pre-order process. So why PlayStation? Then I've got questions for each of you and that, that um, as far as what I need to know. My, my main reason now for PlayStation 5, which should affect Chris, if, if, as well as I know Chris, and I think he smoked his nose, what I'm going to say. Sean, I don't know how much it's going to bother you. It's two words, two simple words, Hogwarts Legacy. That's <sighs> all I need to say, Sean. Hey. Hogwarts Legacy. It is the open world Harry Potter game that is going to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive you're not playing as Harry or Ron or Hermione or any characters. You are your own wizard. And to make it even better for us Potterheads out there, the game's done by Wizarding World, which is the same people that have a say on Pottermore, the website, which is where you go to sort yourself into what Harry Potter house you would be in. So when this game comes out, it may link up with that and it might just put you into the house that you're already assorted into, or it will ask you to do all over again just to make sure and resort you into your own house. Oh. Yeah, but that, that, that's a man that's passionate. He hasn't answered my question at all, other than making it very niche as to whether he was a, a, Potter man or a, po a Harry Potter man or, or not. It's however, exclusives, exclusives, Sean, exclusives. So you, I'll, I'll be honest. I'll, I'll, I'm going to be honest, Miles. You put up a good fight for a niche market there, but in Sean's world, uh, it, it's not, it's not oh, really getting my juices going. Uh, Sean, however, here you go. But, here you go for when your nephews come round and they want to see what Uncle Sean's playing. How about Spider-Man Miles Morales? No, no. PlayStation it's, it's, 5 yeah. exclusive. What about okay. God of War Ragnarok? PlayStation 5 exclusive. Okay, okay. All okay. about the exclusives, let me, baby. Let me back up the Miles debate a little bit then. And uh, Chris, I've got some questions to ask you. I was speaking to my brother, who basically, he, he blags everything anyway. He doesn't know what he's on about. But I told him I might get the Series S of the Xbox, the cheaper one. Yeah, that's okay. probably enough for me. But my brother said, "Why well, are you going to bother? You might as well buy the old Xbox because it's more powerful than that anyway." That's debatable. That's debatable. Now the technology in the Xbox Series S, the yeah. more affordable one, is it's got brand new technology, so it will still run smoother and run more powerful than right. the old generation of Xbox. So you're better oh. off if you're going to get one. You're better off getting the Series S. Yeah. I've got to, because a lot of the games that I play, obviously, is uh, cross-platform anyway. But then I've got one question to ask, because this might be my, my tipping point, and it is something close at home, really. Is the Samsung inclusion of Game Pass and how that can evolve, like, legitimately, Chris, can you explain that to me, please, like I'm a five-year-old? Because I'm hearing that I can play 
games on my phone at console level, but that does not sound true. That doesn't sound like possible. Explain yeah. it to me, man. Mate, it doesn't sound possible. What do I, I need to do it? But that's it. It doesn't sound possible. It doesn't. If I said to you, you can play Halo 5, which is a console game on your mobile phone, you'd say, oh, you can't. It would look rubbish. But now, with Game Pass Ultimate, you have that subscription for all your games on your console. You then get access to play them on your mobile. Now, it doesn't download it to your mobile. It will stream that game straight to your phone. Just like what Netflix does for films, Yeah, Game Pass Ultimate is going to do for games. So you'll hey. have a library of over 100 games. You literally press play, and then you're using the power of our Galaxy devices to run these amazing Xbox games. So legitimate question, I, do I need my Xbox on? at all times for that and you don't even need to own an xbox you can have <laughs> game pass ultimate subscription and have these games on your mobile you don't even have to even buy an xbox uh, hey, you just you, need to have that subscription i might be one of these guys that pre- says like press this x a b and z instead of square triangle cross and, and circle from in the future but- or sean or you listen to what chris just said you don't need an Xbox for Game Pass, so you buy the PlayStation 5, you play Hogwarts <laughs> Legacy, then you download Game Pass and whack it on your phone or your tablet or your PC. True, it, but when for me... those games that you are playing <laughs> would run smoother and better on an Xbox. I um, Okay, I'm going to put something out there right now, guys. I think we, we're, we're at, at a kind of a draw at the moment with it and but I'll, I'll admit all, most of Miles's fight has come from the fact that he's my co-host and I naturally go towards him anyway because we're tight like that all right but Miles you didn't do a very good job of backing up PlayStation did you not hear but, Hogwarts yes, Legacy did, yeah you you know is this is this the point where I tell everybody watching that uh yeah, I pre-ordered both consoles. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. That's exactly what I was going to say. I was going to say, the problem is with Chris is he's pre-ordered both. I already know that because he's <laughs> exactly the same as Rich Walton. He, he'll buy both of them. Guys, in the comments, let me know. This is legit. The next episode, I'm going to show you all a receipt with me pre-ordering whichever console I'm steered towards by you guys because it's, that, it's crunch time. Yes, I have fell in love with the, the gaming element. It's very sociable. It's a lot of fun. If anybody wants to learn how to play Rocket League, then you can come and play me and Shaq at any time, and we will beat you gl- gladly. Uh, I'm on the fence there. I mean, uh, it, it, it's a tough one, but it's an exciting year. But Chris, there's a lot more about reasons that gaming is really relevant right now for us here at Samsung. Can you tell us more about that? <sighs> Mate, gaming's relevant for everyone, but yeah, I get what you're teeing me up for here. It is so relevant for samsung at the moment that is because yeah. we have launched egt which is our elite gaming tournament so this is the first time at samsung we've ever done a gaming tournament and it is kick-started right off for our samsung elites out there so this is what we're doing for year one and we got some wicked wicked prizes because we partnered up with microsoft um yeah. mate i've already announced the prizes um, on egt they're going to be winning 65 inch TVs, Xbox Series X, gaming chairs, headsets, controllers, you name it, they're going to win the ultimate gaming setup. So, wow. yeah, I'm hosting uh, tonight actually, Friday, seven o'clock. I'll be hosting our Elite Unleashed over on our backstage app for all of our loyal backstagers. Um, yep. So, yeah, uh, really, really excited for that. Uh, just come back from the studio where we're going to be uh, hosting it all, and it looks sick. Well, what games can we uh, expect to play, or is that under tight? Oh, is that under wraps Max, at the I'm not telling the games yet. Tune in at seven o'clock on backstage, <laughs> and I'll tell you then. Miles, definitely will. Miles, are you are you entering? Are you allowed a, a sneaky little entrance there as as a? Uh... I am. I am down. I am all involved to win. To win it all. After I was cheated out of the last time I can compete hey. in a, a game. Well, there we, in that one question, I've already found out who I'm rooting for. I'm Team Miles, man. Just get me a, a purple T-shirt and a purple scarf, and I'm going to be rocking it for him because it, even though he let me down on the last episode of the uh, podcast where even Luke beat him, I think, which was embarrassing to say the least, but we're over that, aren't we, Miles? Guys, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Elite Gaming Tournament. Listen, we will. We love you guys. We want to look after you guys. Winter is coming. There's a lot of exciting things happening, including with our good friends over at Microsoft. So make sure that you're part of, even if it's as a viewer, that Elite Gaming Tournament. Something that I think is going to evolve to a much wider market as well. So if you're not in, in, in uh, participation this time, stick with us because I know Chris is super passionate about this project. project. The team have worked really hard to get it to the stage that it's at. Good luck with that, Chris. I'll be tuning in tonight at seven. Over on backstage, did you say? Uh, over on the backstage app or the backstage website, yes, that is okay. it. Okay, I'll, I'll be there. I'm going to pick up with Miles separately because I know he'll try and convince me more about PlayStation, but uh, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know where I'm at right now. Guys, let me know in your comments right now, uh, what do you think and why as well? And why, why is it important that we should be having that particular console over any of us? What I do know is that the fact that I've got this, which means that I can have access through Game Pass Ultimate to all those games, another great thing from Samsung. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, any, any messages to wrap up with there, Miles? Uh, yeah. When you said winter is coming, did you know, do you know what the, that's in reference to? Game of Thrones. Oh. oh cool. Oh, see the way he tricked right. us. <laughs> see the way he tricked us at the start, man. I, I watched all the way to season three. Uh, that, I, I watched on that one, so uh, that wasn't actually that bad. I, I've done more than one season, which is what I normally do. Uh, I'll, say give another, so, yeah. I'll say watch it for another two seasons and then, yeah, pack it in. Two, three seasons. Is it really? Yeah. In. <laughs> guys thank you very much for your time Chris thanks for uh, joining us I know that you're really super busy you better get yourself over to some rehearsals or something then you're going live in a couple of hours I so, do but uh, enjoy uh, that. tonight now you've got your Wi-Fi us three call of duty let's get on it boys. I'll consider it man Let, let's uh, let's do it that way oh, oh, I'm going gonna, gonna to end up regretting that it's going to be a late night hey right, guys have a good one thank you very much for joining us as always click subscribe so that you can keep up to date with all the good things that are coming from the Freestyle Podcast. Mondays and Wednesdays, if you want to see more of Chris and the team at Backstage Live. And as ever, check out backstage.co.uk for any more information around our great products. Until next time, guys. Peace.